check over here. All right, refresh that page. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like we're live on YouTube. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. And looks like we're live over here. Sweet. Uh, welcome everybody to uh, unboxing phones, right? Yes, That's I'll what's be in, in here in a second. Are you sure? Hopefully, <laughs> scrambling to make content. We got these. <laughs> we got these boxes this morning. Hopefully, they have phones in them. If not, they have uh, high quality beauty products, which we've been waiting for uh, for a long time. Uh, by the way, my name's Adam Patrick Murray. Uh, I am video director and photographer here. I do a lot of the camera testing, so you know we're going to open these up, do uh, you know the usual unboxing style kind of stuff. Uh, and then do a little bit of uh, maybe a, a quick portrait mode test if yes. we have the time to set one up. Uh, and of course, you know Roman Loyola, host of the Macworld podcast uh, and, and Macworld Extraordinary. What is your title? I always forget. I'm sorry. It's senior editor. Senior editor. Senior editor. I like it. Meaning um, I'm the old guy. Senior. Yeah, you've, you've been here for citizen. a while. Uh, so. <laughs> If you want to uh, chat in on the comments, I'll be watching them over here to make sure. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. You know, we just got these, so you know. Once again, hopefully there's some iPhones in there. Uh, if not, uh, and you know, I'm going to use my handy dandy uh, uh, pocket knife here, uh, Spider Co Delica, uh, which you know we're not sponsored by them, but I highly recommend uh, the Spider Co for unboxing iPhones. Uh, it's got it's got a good blade uh, to it, yeah. So, and it looks like Roman's ready. Are you All right. ready to unbox these? We don't know let's which just, one's which, so yes. let's unbox each first and then take them yes. individually. So I bought a, I bought one of each model. Just because you need one for each hand, right? Because I need one for each hand. Perfect. So and you know I'm right-handed, so I got the bigger one for my right hand. Perfect. <laughs> So this looks uh, like... Oh, look at that. That looks like the normal size, right? No? No, I think this is the bigger size. Oh, who knows? I guess so we'll have to open this one. So we'll open this one. And see, uh, we got a question from uh, Maytre on Periscope. Uh, what model did you get? Oh, this There's is the bigger There's the big one. guy. That's All the right. That's, so, so what sizes did you get? What colors? So we got... This is the Max. This is the iPhone XS Max. Uh, I got it in gold. Ooh, fancy. I'm Asian. <laughs> Asians love the gold. And this is just the, reg the regular size 10S that I actually bought for my wife because it's her birthday on Sunday. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, she knows. Yeah. Well, yeah, she actually does know because, it's, long story short, she's using a, work, a phone from work. And so I said, you need your own phone. Um, this one's in space gray. Perfect. So we're going to open the... Big one first. Uh, let's open the big one first. All yeah. right. So why don't you why don't you get it out of that little carrier so, thing? Yeah. So I don't know if you need to. We'll put this aside for now. Yeah. You know the small guy. We've seen that before. So. Uh, also, we got a question from uh, Hilia. I don't know how to pronounce that because I'm not good at it. <laughs> why doesn't the Max's bigger screen and resolution include an extra row of icons, Roman Loyola? That's a good point. You know, it's funny. Um, uh, it's. I don't know why they do that. It's 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 an interesting. That's more of an iOS issue than a uh, the phone hardware issue. So that's a good question. I don't know why they do that. Uh, you would think that they would. Yeah, kind have of, a flexible. But wait, way but did they do that on the iPad? I don't think. I so. don't think they even do that on yeah. the iPad. So, so hopefully, I don't think I need the knife anymore. Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. So Sweet. this. Let's get rid of this. Man, they. they they got an easy, uh, easy unwrap feature yeah. now. So this is the Max. Uh, anybody know what this is? I, I think we wasn't it water droplets. I with think that's like, what we uh, saw. Yeah, like because we thought it was a some sort of oil thing. I got the two hundred fifty six meg gigabyte one. Nice. Don't look at my serial numbers. Oh no. Uh, do all right. So yeah. Let's what this Apple even? Uh, that is really easy to unpeel now. Yeah. Wow. Apple even thinks about how you take the cellophane off. Okay. The cellophane I, I gotta say, I, I, I like that. There it goes. <laughs> it's probably sticking away. But it, it is. is. Sticking away. <laughs> uh, 
So then there we go. So then let's open it up. Do we have any music for this? Uh, no, we don't. Go ahead. <laughs> it's not licensed. So oh, right. We need the license. So the first thing you always get is the sleeve. I don't. Do you want to go through the sleeve first, or, or you know, let's let's check. I just want to double check, yeah. make sure there's uh, there's uh, stickers. So what you usually get are you get the walkthrough, kind of how to set it up and stuff. That's the usual. Yeah. You get the sim remover. You get well. Doesn't the bigger one have the e sim? Uh, it's like dual sims now, and one of them's an e sim uh, okay. or something. I don't remember. Uh, warranty information, and as Adam wants, the most important thing is the the yes, the stickers. stickers. That's you it. Can never get enough. This stickers. is all we wanted. We yeah, only wanted right, the let's phone box for the it back up. Let's send it out. We're done. <laughs> We're Just done. kidding. All right. Just kidding. All right. So that's what you get. All right. That's out of the way. And now we get to the phone, so Apple includes this little tab that you pull up. Hey, that is a big phone. This is a big phone. That is a big phone. So, and I didn't bring my old 6S Plus to compare to size. So. <laughs> what, what do you think of that uh, that nice gold? It's not rose so gold this anymore? Is gold. I is don't it? know if, can, can you tell on the video if that it's gold? It's not rose, they don't market it as rose gold. Oh, and okay. even Apple's rose gold over the years has changed in tint. Mm. So right. uh, it's pretty. We, we got a question uh, from Aji on YouTube. Air power included? Air powers? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, nothing. Because the box would probably explode. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of the box, here's what's inside the box. You get some reason Apple still ships you this five watt charger, the, the low power one, which is also wrapped in plastic. I don't know why. You, you got to keep it clean, man. I guess. Yeah. So, anyways, they still stick with this charger. I don't know why. Are those AirPods? And no, these oh, are. Oh, that looks like it. So these are the wired. Um. Air AirPods. It has a lightning connector, and one thing that's most the main difference from last year when you would open this up is that the back side, I believe, used to have a lightning to. Uh, headphone oh, adapter. Oh, the dongle, right? The yeah. dongle. No dongle in here. There's no dongle this year. So, so you, you gotta have, buy it separate, huh? You have to pay $9 to get the dongle now if you want a headphone. If you have a headphone jack, uh, if you want to use a pair of headphones that have a jack and you don't want, don't have a lightning connector, right. so you have to get that. But at least you get a, a little charging cable. And there's a, there's a, a lightning cable in there. So that's that. All right. Well, so, yeah, the big guy, you, do you have your 10 in your pocket right now or no? I do have my 10. Yeah, let's see. So. Uh, we got a question uh, about thickness. Uh, Mad Matt's asking, uh, is it thinner? So let's let's try to lay these down on the table, see see what the thickness is, if you can get a nice uh, yeah. shot there. Um, so this is, yeah. So this is the 10. That Does it feel? 10S. It doesn't really feel any. Max. Well, we'll we'll do a when we open up the 10s, we'll show. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, also, we got a question. Uh, or, you know, somebody stating that this is not live. Yes, it is live. We are seeing <laughs> we are your live. comment right now saying that it's a recorded video. We are live. When it's in fact it's it not. It is what. Uh, this is a live 10, video. 11:45. Is it really 11:45? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, so that's cool. All right. So should I take the wraps off of this one? Yeah, well, this is the most the exciting part. Yeah, right. So Apple like there's to, whole YouTube channels dedicated just know. to this, just to just to this part. Uh, there we go. Satisfying. So you this get, is the cleanest it's ever gonna be, Roman. Yes. From here, it's all downhill. Or yeah. Something like that. So now I'll turn it on. Yeah. Well, once you turn it on, let's see if there's a new uh, a new message. I gotta say, yeah. I, I do, I do like that gold color. I know uh, a yeah. fellow video producer Dan Masaoka, who couldn't be here today, uh, he also got the gold color, Did but he? he got the smaller because he's uh, version. You know, I'm not gonna say <laughs> it. I'm gonna let you say that. Uh, <laughs> but we got, uh, we got over here Maitre saying the gold is awesome. So yeah, um, I had a gold. I don't remember the first phone out came out in gold, and I got that, and it was nice. So anyways, nice. so there's the setup. Um, so I think what we're gonna do right now is let yeah. you set the phone up so we can do a, a quick portrait mode test, uh, and I'm gonna unbox the the smaller one okay. uh, and see if we can spot any differences from the uh, the 10 to the 10s. So you know, 
I'm fancy with my Delico, uh, or Spyderco <laughs> Delica here, so I'm going to use it as much as I can because I paid lots of money <laughs> for it. So, but this is not gold. This is uh, the 64 gigabyte uh, XS Max, or no, XS, just the XS, uh, 64 gigs here. Why'd you go with the smaller on this one? Um, my wife doesn't need as much storage as, All right. like I do. Because right. so, I'm the documentarian of the house, mm. so I'm the one shooting videos and stuff like that. So that's why I got the 256. I was tempted to go 512, but um, that's an expensive phone. That, that is very large. The, so. Very expensive, very large. Yeah. All right. I haven't unboxed an iPhone personally in many years because I'm an Android person. Don't tell anybody. Uh, but I do like that experience of the cellophane. Oh, there's very little resistance to the box sliding up. Ah, uh, look at that. Boom. Same kind of deal here. You know, you get that, uh, the insert. We got a couple more stickers. But really, you came to see this. This is the iPhone XS in space gray. There we go. This, this actually looks, man, pretty close to black. Yeah, it's. Right? I was calling it black at first, and then I was like, oh wait a minute, it's not. It's not black. <laughs> all right, so you already know all the same stuff in the box. We got the headphones, the lightning, the charging cable, all that stuff. So I'm gonna skip that. Really, what I want to see is uh, how it compares to the 10. Oh, you know what? Let me take the plastic off. Let's uh, let's get in there for the plastic. Woo! It's one solid piece of plastic on both sides. Nice. I wonder if that plastic is biodegradable. I guess it's not really. Uh, we got a great question from uh, Yard Bigs. Do you need my address to send the Max to? Do you need his address? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get their address. Uh, so here we go. Let's, this is side by side with the 10. I gotta say, first off, it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel taller. Can you notice but. the camera bump, the size and the camera bump? So, or, Man. yeah. Because there it's is- It's supposed to be taller? It's, yeah, there's a difference in the camera bump for the 10S that makes it so that some cases, the cutout may not be I mean, that's gotta enough. be, that's gotta be minuscule if it is. But I gotta say, I do kind of tell the, uh, around the edge, there's almost a, a little bit of a, a lip to it between the glass and the edge. Oh, more than on the on Yeah, the like I'm feeling like it. Do you feel that? Is it, is it just on this side maybe? Like I feel like when I do that with my finger, I can kind of feel like, it's not so much on this side, it's a little more on this if side. I would have known there would be close-ups to my finger. I would have got a manicure. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, gotta go get a manicure. Oh, I, I guess it's, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't tell. Maybe it's about the same. Part. Yeah. All right, uh, they're asking uh, if there's one that's heavier. I can't really tell. Just, but we don't have a weight in here. But let's see. Same size. Back to back. Yeah, I mean everything. Everything's looking pretty close to me. Uh, the yeah, the the volume. Power button. Okay, I'm gonna. So I'm on the Apple ID part of the setup. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna stop here, so you can use your idea. So what happening? What's happening is I'm gonna give. I'm act, Adam's gonna be doing some camera testing over the next couple of days. It's true. So I don't oh, actually so I get my phone. In? If you want to use your oh, account. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's do that. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. Why don't you study the new phone? Uh, we got some questions here. Uh, which one is thinner? Can, can you tell the difference? I can't tell the difference, and I think, see, there, there's kind of an optical illusion that, you know how black is more slimming? So <laughs> it makes it look like, if you look at it, just look at it, it makes it look like the XS, which is this phone. It makes it look like it's thinner, but I don't think it really is. So. All right. Uh... So I'm gonna try, so I have this case. I got this case in China when I went 
earlier this year when I went to vis visit the Great Wall, or I'm sorry, not the Great Wall, Imperial Palace, Forbidden City. And this case in particular works with my 10. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight fit around the camera book. So supposedly the camera bump, bump is a little different on the 10S and that it may be an issue of this case fitting on so the 10S. Do you feel a, the difference? Is that the new no, one? No, this, this is my, I just wanted oh, to show okay. this. So this is the 10 on with my case. So I'm gonna put this case now on the new phone and see. We also have somebody saying in the chat that the XS is slightly heavier. I mean, but it, in, in the hand, uh, I, I didn't feel it. Oh. Oh, there yeah, are, okay. So it's really snug around the camera bump. So when I put it on, usually when I put the case on, it just slips right on. But when I put this case on. You're kind of having to force it? I had to force it on, because it didn't really. Oh, let me see if I can re redo it. So when I put it, let's see, it, it's not that big. It, I don't know if you can tell, but. It's a lot tighter around the camera bump. I don't know if you can tell that. So, and when I put it on, I could feel that like it was sort of in the way. So I, if I, I was able to force the case, I guess, game a little bit. So anyways, um, and I can't tell on this case if it's, it looks about the same to me. So this is the 10S, just to remind people. All right, not, I'm Anyways. in. I'm in. So yeah, we got uh, yeah use device locations. All right, so let's let's put these up next to each other. Uh, we got have somebody in the chat asking, uh, which, which one do you like better, uh, color wise? The I mean, obviously you got the gold for yourself. I like the um, gold. I, you know, in pictures and in videos, it's it's hard to kind of. There's a certain nuance to it that I kind of like. Yeah, it it is pretty fancy. But the thing is, I'm going to end up putting a case on it. Oh anyways. yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're going to need a so. new case. Is your wife going to get that old case? Oh, uh, she actually has her own. Case, oh okay, so well, that's nice. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's a. I got to tell you, in the hand, that's bigger. Like like like. Feel that? Is that? Oh, are you excited you for a bigger two? phone? Yeah, I am excited about. I mean, it's not. Yeah, like, it does feel a lot. It does feel dramatically bigger, even though it's, it doesn't look dramatically bigger like that. I like big phones personally, but so I like big phones because, and I cannot lie, because <laughs> because my eyes are, you know, they're well, crap. <laughs> so I like the bigger phone. So we got somebody asking if the speakers allowed. Uh, they probably shouldn't be too different, right? But we do get the nice stereo separation. So right. Uh, the, like I, I don't know if you're actually getting more or if you're just getting the stereo separation. But if, if I remember correctly, the stereo separation is supposed to be better on these phones. Okay. Nice. Um, so, so let's uh, let's wrap this up by doing a quick little uh, portrait mode test, just because you got the new uh, the new slider. So. Uh, whoops, I'm going to go into the camera, which I always forget. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, you switch over to portrait mode. Yeah, we got it. Uh, let me take a, a nice photo of you, uh, Roman. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do it on camera live. Do you have enough of a, of a background? Oh, yeah, perfect. Give me, yeah. give me a good smile, Roman. There That's we go. Love it. That was <laughs> Roman. If there's anything I know about you, you're very photogenic. Oh, uh, you're too kind. <laughs> so, all right, so we go in here. I'm not your supervisor, so I'm not going to give you a, a raise or anything. Uh, so you can swipe up to see the live photo effects, people, location, yada, yada. Uh, so I'm going to swipe up and hopefully... All right, well, that's not doing anything for me. No details. You're telling me there's literally no details. All right, I'm going to try hitting edit. There it is. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Uh, so now you can change the amount of bokeh that's in the back. Uh, it defaults to f4.5, even though the lens itself is 1.8. It's showing uh, what they're guesstimating to yeah. be 4.5. I personally don't like that. I, I, you know, if they're going to guesstimate, I, I at least want something. I don't know, something different. Uh, I can't put my words on it. 
but and the max aperture is 1.4 which is past physically what it is but I think what they're trying to do is saying oh this is what 1.4 would look like right. on, on a DSLR right. Uh, but I gotta say that's also BS because at this focal range you're not gonna get that much bokeh on a, <laughs> on a DSLR <laughs> even at one four. Right, right. But sure. whatever. That's that's just me being a photographer, being nitpicky. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's let's step through here, and it's got a nice little satisfying uh, uh, -oh. uh, vibration. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice little vibration feedback when you switch between the little uh, indications. Little indents, so one six, one eight. I'm not really seeing a ton difference. You can kind of see it in the um, the window up here. Yeah, from even from one four to two o, oh. and then you you know as you go to two eight, four five. Oh look, there's even a little dot indicator Ooh. to say where it defaulted to four point five. I wonder if that's where the ten and the eight. S supposedly defaulted to. Right, I'll, I'll have right. to do some tests on that. Uh, but yeah, the, I mean, then you can go all the way to F16, which is pretty much. They're probably at that point turning it off. Yeah. I, I don't see any indication of depth in that. Right, and then it's, they're reverting back to using the hardware. So one of the weird yeah. things that that I've had a nitpick with uh, Apple's uh, implementation of portrait mode is blurring things that should be in the same plane of focus. So his face should be close enough to his shirt that it shouldn't be bl uh, shouldn't be blurred. And when you go all the way out here, it, it, it masks his face, blurs pretty much the, the top of his head <laughs> and his chin and his shirt whenever- That's a feature to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's also, I don't know, it's a little weird because it, it's like it masks out the face and then just protects the face from showing any sort of depth. Uh, and right. then just blurs the rest. You get some gradations, which is nice, but this is not realistic on a camera. Once again, that's, that's just me being nitpicky. Uh, but you can hold it and see the original. And that's interesting because that implementation is more of a, it's less of what really, how it really works, as you explained, and more yeah. of a taste, kind of. Yeah, and we noticed this you know in the, I mean? the initial testing that uh, it protects the, fa the face to the amount that uh, even if you take a photo with the face kind of tilted to the side, yeah. it'll still keep this and this right. in focus. I've noticed that, yeah. But the, the shirt will still be out of focus. Yeah. You know, like it's really trying to protect the face. And I, I get it. You want the face to be nice and clear. But, you know, it's it's just just a little nitpick. I'm going to look at the... Why don't, you, why don't you check it out see what, what you think of that slider. Um, and I'm going to check out the comments. Have you tried the Apple Watch yet, Roman? So, um, we did not get our Apple Watch today. Uh, or actually, I take that back. Jason Cross, our staff writer, is getting the Apple Watch today. But he doesn't work here in the office. He works remotely. Uh, yep. uh, and so, we're not getting one. We're not going to be doing an unboxing of the Apple Watch. Um, I... Long story, I initially ordered an Apple Watch, mm -hmm. and it was going to come today, but what happened was I canceled that order and reordered it because I ordered the wrong model. Uh, whoops. So that, and now my Apple Watch isn't coming until October. So, but uh, Jason Cross you. is supposed to get one today, and uh, he's going to be doing the review for us. Awesome. Cool. So, so and who's doing the review of the, uh, the phones? I am doing the review of the phones. J just so. the big one or both? Both. Okay. Because awesome. they're essentially the same phone, but one's bigger. Yeah. They even have the same cameras. Yeah. So. So yeah, you, you're going to take one of the phones for for review, and I'm going to take one of the phones and do uh, some camera testing versus the uh, iPhone 10. Yes. Your your old iPhone 10. Right. So I'll be doing that over over the next week. Uh, we'll come up with. Uh, with some conclusions on is it worth the upgrade? Is the uh, smart HDR, as it's called in the photography, really gonna uh, make a difference? Is the bigger sensor gonna make a difference? Those are all the kind of things yes. I'm gonna be looking for. Uh, and then once the Pixel 3 comes out on the Android side, 
I'm going to do a, uh, a big shootout uh, as part of my Last Camp Standing series on PC World, our sister site. You can check it out over there. Uh, you know, I'll be comparing it to all the major players. So not only will we see how it stacks up versus the 10 here on Macworld, on PC World you see how it stacks up against uh, all the, oh, the, the best phones. of the Android yep. phones too. So, so. Uh, lots of coverage coming. And we got the Apple Watch, uh, sadly no air power. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> Just keep keep crossing your fingers on that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you, Roman, for uh, taking the time to unbox these no problem. and for letting me borrow your brand new phone. Sure. You're, you're giving me your new phone to put in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, not not just the new phone. I'm giving and you my old, old phone. Yeah. So. Yeah. Man, th this guy's a team player. It's gonna be a tough week. Yeah. Thank so. you, Roman. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, uh, and I appreciate everyone uh, in the chat for for chiming in. Uh, I really. I really like, you know, what we're doing here. Yeah, it'll know? be fun. Yeah, it'll unboxings. Fun. Tell us so. tell us if you like them, if we should keep doing them, uh, and how we can improve them, because we're always so. looking for feedback. So, yep. all right, uh, let's get out of here uh, so we can go do some testing. All right. All right. Have a good weekend, folks. See ya.